What's going on, Shaholics? So, uh, today's gonna be a little bit different of a video. So, upon request, uh, you know, my last video, I picked up this beautiful pheasant right here that, you know, got hit by a car, so it was roadkill, which uh, I didn't know you're not allowed to pick up a pheasant, um, you know, unless you have a permit which I didn't have, so I just thought, you know, look at these feathers, this is gonna be perfect for tying jigs or flies. And on uh, my last video, I got a lot of comments from you guys saying, hey, you know, we would love to see a uh, how-to jig or fly tying video. So today, we're going to uh, skin this bird, which I've never done before, and uh, try and make some jigs. And then if we still have enough daylight left and it's not too frigid cold, which right now it's like 25 degrees out, We'll uh, hit up one lake that I think probably doesn't have ice on it and maybe catch some panfish. So I hope this angle is uh, semi-decent and uh, I've got a bunch of tools on the table. I've got, you know, one sharp, razor sharp, little knife, bigger knife for, you know, chop. And then we got some pliers for helping to yank out some feathers and as well as yank out the feet. And I've watched, I think, two YouTube videos and now I'm trying to, uh, you know, defeather or skin this bird. I also have a container here with uh, some borax in it, and that's going to be used to, um, I guess, help like take the moisture out of the pieces of feather or the skin sections that I pull off this bird. And then I'm going to put that in the borax container. And then I also have some bags here for uh, the feathers that I'm probably going to use today to tie my jigs. And uh, after watching, you know, one of the videos that. I watched, I think the first step that he did was chop off the head, chop off the neck. So, got this big knife here, and uh, he said that you wanna find the area where basically the neck attached to the breast. And once you find that spot, that's where you wanna cut real quick. All right, this is the first time I'm ever gonna be doing this. That didn't work out too well. All right, I think this is it here. Okay. Whew. We got the head off. That's step one. Step two, I believe, is cut the wings off. You wanna find that joint. And you wanna cut it off. Uh, we got a little bit of meat on that wing. Got like feathers, I've <clears throat> got feathers in my mouth. Okay, I'm probably butchering this, but okay, that, all right, that was a better job right there. Perfect job, I hit it right on the joint. Try and give you a closer look. And you can see exactly where I cut that wing off. So the next step, I think, is to pluck these beautiful tail feathers, which uh, we're probably gonna use these for the jigs today. Okay, just like that. That one, you know, one hard pull. Got a nice feather. Ooh, that's a lot easier. Using the pliers to grab the base of the feather. Almost got all the tail feathers out. Then we're gonna remove the feet and do the skinning part. Look at that. That'd be plenty for a bunch of jigs today. All right, so this part, removing the feet, I feel, is gonna be a challenge uh, you know these are the legs right here and then we just want to take out the feet and uh, I saw a video where the guy removed the tendons and he like basically made like an incision around the joint here where it meets up with the leg itself and we want to pull it out firmly and remove like all the tendons and the whole foot oh no way. We did it. I think that's part of the tendons right there. All right. It's kind of funny because I can cut and clean like, you know, tons of fish, you know, like second nature. This is something new to me. I've never done this. Feet number two. Okay, now it's time for the icky part, most likely, skin in time. So uh, on the video that I watched, 
basically I saw the instructor just go to the center of the breast. The bird is basically on its back right now. And he just kind of found an area where, you know, he picked up the skin off the bird. And you can feel it, like it's, uh, I have probably about an inch of skin in my hands right now. And then he made like a small little cut or incision. And that's how he opened up the bird. Alright, there's the breast. Okay, not doing too good of a job, but I'm doing it. Okay. There you have it. Skinned pheasant. Elias, doesn't that uh, look pretty good, catch and cook? <laughs> it probably would have uh, tasted pretty good, like fresh on an open fire. Toss it in the woods, I'm sure, I'm sure something will eat it, a fox or a raccoon. So nothing ever goes to the waste in the wild. Remember that, you throw it in the trash can, that's how it rots and goes to waste. But uh, we're just gonna toss this to the side. So I think we're good. We got off most of the skin and feathers you know, all in one piece, and then we have two wings, and the neck and head piece, and there's really some amazing, beautiful colors in this neck and head piece, so we're gonna try and, you know, get all the feathers out of this, and really utilize it, but, um, you know, we do have most of the feathers that we're gonna use today for the jigs bagged up and ready to go, so I think what we're gonna do is just segment this section real quick, you know, break it up by feather type and by color, and then we're going to throw it in this bin here with the borax. Okay, so the feathers are on the borax in the fridge. This is what we're working with. We've got two sections of feathers from like the back and I think the breast of the pheasant. And then we've got these two tail sections of the pheasant and we're going to try and put them on this jig. Starting off with this little jig, we're just going to do, you know, pretty much a straightforward just line wrap where, you know, I'm laying the thread along the shaft of the jig head here, right, you know, behind the head. I'm laying the thread there and I'm just going to wrap it a bunch of times until I wrap it over itself and I'm going to go down and then I'm going to wrap back up towards the head of the jig and after you do that you know quite a few times it's pretty much going to lock and cinch on itself so then you just cut the tag end and you're pretty much good to go so uh, with the three types of feathers we have here two of the feathers are different colors but uh, this feather here has uh, like an interesting like green marking on the end with like black and brown and then this feather which is pretty much the same thing just has brown on the end instead of green and um, these feathers what I really like about them is they're very flexible free moving and in the water you know because there's more resistance you know there, this feather is gonna have a lot more action you know give this jig swimming along the bottom or swimming through the water you know a lot more you know, flicker, tail action, look like something alive. So we're gonna start off with, I guess, two of these feathers. And, um, you know, the very top end of this, where it kind of connects to the bird, is very stiff. So I'm gonna cut off that section. I don't want that part. I'm gonna cut it right there where it's very stiff. And then I'm gonna take this more flexible piece and I'm gonna tie that to the side of the jig to start it off. Oh, I missed. And I'm just going to give it a bunch of wraps. This feather is very poofy. So I'm just going to wrap over any imperfections to kind of try and hide it. Give it a better, you know, look. And all right, so this feather is wrapped up on the one side of the jig. And then I'm, you know, I'm going to take this other feather that had the green end to it and I'm going, going to cut off 
the very end of that. And then do the same thing to the other side, where I'm gonna wrap this feather onto the other side of the jig. And uh, to start off, let me show you guys how I do a whip finish. So we got these two feathers on, and I'm not done, I wanna add a little bit more body to it. But uh, the whip finish, let me see if I can give you a little bit more view here. Basically you take your two fingers, your thumb and your index finger, and you lay it on the thread. And then you're gonna take the thread, and you're gonna go over the top, and over that index finger. And you're gonna kinda create like a figure eight, almost. And then you're gonna kinda put your thumb to the top, and push down. And then bring this thread where the two lines intersect up to the sh uh, to the shaft of the jig head. And then you're gonna bring your two fingers to the far side of the jig. And then you're gonna invert them, wrap it around, invert them again, invert them again. And then you're gonna grab the loop and pull it tight with this section end of the thread. For the most part, I could just clip this tag end and we'd be good to go. But I wanna add some of this tail feather to this jig head, just because I think it'll give it some good body. Because once I get this jig head wet, these very poofy feathers are gonna go down. You know, it's not gonna really, you know, be much on this jig head. So we're gonna clip off some of this feather here. And this will be great for you know, giving it more of like a full body look under the water. And I'm just gonna put this right in the top, keep it simple for the first jig I'm gonna tie. And then just wrap this thread nice and tight around that shaft. Like I said, I'm just gonna wrap it a lot to uh, hide any imperfections. We're gonna do our hand whip finish knot. Haven't done this in a while. Once you uh, get the motion down of the hand whip finish knot, it's really simple. Clip the end, and you're good to go. All right, so probably not the best jig head I could tie, but uh, it's been a while, and uh, I mean, for all we know, we're gonna try it in five, 10 minutes, and uh, if it catches a ton of fish, <laughs> it's a winner. But uh, you know, this video I hope just gives you the gist of things. Uh, it's not the best instructional video, but uh, you know, for the most part, you know, tying your own jigs can be simple, it can be fun, and uh, you know, really, you know, make yourself be more creative, save money, I'm sure. And uh, what time is it? I think it's, 4 p.m. So we got about 30 minutes left of daylight and uh, it's 26 degrees out. <laughs> it's gonna be cold, but you know what? It's perfect because we'll have about 30 minutes left to fish and uh, that's all the time that I really want to fish. So let's uh, try putting this little jig to the test and catching some panfish or maybe some bass or whatever else bites it. Tubby and Patty. Patty's fatter than Tubby. It's cold. So I got some bad news. Came out here about five minutes ago to try and start my car, and this happened. We got a dead battery. It's probably been like, I don't know, two or three days since I started up the truck. It's just because uh, we've been getting a lot of snow up here on the mountain, and uh, my hands are cold already. I don't even wanna go fishing, really. But, uh, you know, at least we, skinned that pheasant which I wanted to do for a while got all the feathers we got them on the borax they're in the fridge drying out and uh, I want to go inside and get warm but uh, I hope you guys are doing the same thing as well as getting out and catching some fish and uh, don't forget to post the comment like share and subscribe and never forget live to fish fish to live and I'll see you guys in the next one